A lot of developers use Google Search and Stack Overflow to find answers to security-related implementation questions. Here's a highly rated response from Stack Overflow on Android encryption. What's wrong with this? The approved answer is not the recommended solution. It actually starts with a disclaimer about how the answer isn't safe to use, and it's from 2011. The code doesn't make use of the Android key store, which means that the key material used to encrypt and decrypt data might be available or easily accessible to an attacker. So wait a minute. Why are developers trying to encrypt data on Android? Doesn't Android since 5.0 encrypt the contents of the user's data partition by default? It certainly does, but there are some use cases where you may want an extra level of protection. For example, if your app uses shared storage, handles sensitive information, including personally identifiable information or PII, financial records, or any kind of enterprise data that could be considered sensitive. The Android Key Store stores cryptographic keys in a container to make it more difficult to extract from the device. Once keys are in the Key Store, they can be used for cryptographic operations in the trusted execution environment, and the key material is not exportable. The Android Key Store also provides options such as Strongbox to store and operate on keys in a secure hardware chip. So how does a developer take advantage of these platform features? Jetpack Security, or JetSec for short, takes advantage of the Android Key Store to keep encryption keys in hardware, which makes accessing the key material very hard. JetSec also provides high-level abstractions for encrypting files and shared preferences to allow developers to encrypt their data safely without the need to understand algorithms, block modes, and more. JetSec is broken up into two sections, key management and the actual encryption of your app's data. All data secured by JetSec is done via the Android Key Store. JetSec uses the concept of a master key, which is hardware backed and optionally locked by biometrics like fingerprint or face identification. This helps secure key sets, which are created per cryptographic algorithm. We get this for free by using Tink, a cross-platform open source library from Google. Out of the box, JetSec enables developers to create a master key with one line of code. JetSec creates an industry standard AES 256-bit key. This is fine for most use cases, but for more sensitive data, there is more customization that can be done. It is highly recommended to tie hardware-backed keys to user presence via a biometric credential. The Android Key Store enforces biometrics at the hardware level, and keys will not be available for use without authorizing the device using the biometric prompt Jetpack library. For JetSec, we recommend the time-bound key approach, which enables developers to lock and unlock keys for a limited amount of time. This is particularly useful when dealing with enterprise financial and other very sensitive data. For time-bound master keys, Jetpack Biometric Prompt is a quick and easy way to show a backwards compatible biometric check in the device. You should use the Jetpack library rather than the direct platform APIs, as Jetpack handles pin passwords as well as multiple modalities such as fingerprint and face identification. The code displays show you how to quickly create, show, and handle callbacks from the biometric authorization. If successful, any time-bound keys in the Android Key Store will become available for the amount of time specified during key creation. Now that we learned how to create and secure our encryption keys, let's jump into how to actually encrypt your files and shared preferences. Both of these abstractions provide authenticated encryption with associated data, or AEAD for short, which provides simultaneous insurance for confidentiality and integrity of the data. Encrypting files has been a challenge in the past due to size limitations, since the entire file would have had to have been required to be loaded into memory. Encryptofile takes advantage of streaming AES encryption that can handle files of all sizes with only disk space as the limiting factor. Encrypted file can be treated similar to a normal file in Android. Once the encrypted file object has been created, you may operate on the file with the file input output streams provided. If you just need to persist data that can be easily modeled in key value pairs, Encrypted Shared Preferences provides an implementation of shared preferences which handles encryption automatically. For safety, both the keys and values are encrypted. Shared preferences keys are encrypted deterministically using a static initialization vector, which ensures that the ciphertext will be the same for the same key value provided. This allows lookups to be done without exposing any unencrypted data. Values are encrypted normally with AES-256 and are not deterministic. To learn more about how to use the Jetpack Security Library, take a look at our tutorial on the Android developer site. Adding JetSec to your project is quick and easy, and the defaults work great out of the box. Adding additional security and data protection to your application has never been easier. Thank you for watching.